Hey girls and guys, it is Heather from Side Let's Play, and we are back with another episode of Minecraft Moms Alive. And in today's episode, we are going to go take a look at our amazing castle um because we've done a lot of improvements on it um because remember we were doing all the remodels and stuff um for when uh we were gonna move in and stuff and um i'm just here picking up some of the stuff that we're gonna need from the house um i want to keep most of the furniture here however because i know someone's gonna move in after me and stuff and i would just like them to have you know a nice set of furniture since we really don't need a lot of the stuff um I'm just going to go ahead and pick some of the stuff up, especially like the little memorabilia stuff, like the necklace and all of that. Um, and I need to empty out, oh, my ring. That's quite important, isn't it? <laughs> I almost forgot that. Um, so I just wanted to do one last little check, make sure I got everything from the rooms and stuff like that. Um, I know we need to empty the chest out, but I'm going to have one of the guards help me out with that and bring the stuff over to the castle. But before I keep just going on, I want to actually show you guys because um, it just it looks so nice. I also need to get the dogs. How can we forget the dogs? Come on. Where's Nala? She must just be running around. That Nala loves just playing all the time. She's always just run, running around, bothering all the villagers. Hi, everyone. Everybody seems to be a lot happier. Um. I would like to get the village all together again to have a meeting just to update them on what I want to do as queen and stuff because I know they're probably looking at me and thinking look she becomes queen and all of a sudden she's just spending all this money on remodels and stuff but I don't want them to get that impression um but there are a few changes that I want to make and I actually want to ask Seth about them as well to get his opinion but um so remember we were changing this from a bathroom and that was going to be the downstairs where we're going to have the kids bedroom I decided to put a nice little living room down there as well because this kind of feels more of a living room for when the villagers come around and stuff it doesn't really feel like a place where you can just go and relax and stuff so let me go take you guys downstairs and when you come down here you see um, three sets of doors here, which are all the bedrooms for the kids. And over here, we have a little living room. And you come over here, and we have a nice little TV there. We have a stereo. It just, I kind of felt like it looked a bit more like a home, you know? It feels more cozy and stuff. So um, the kids could come in here. This would kind of be where they come and hang out with their friends and stuff, especially since they're getting a little bit older now. Um, so let's start off with Willow's room. It's going to be right here. And I left the signs up there so they could put whatever they want on them. Um, and that, that could be like the little, it could just say, I'm a Willow. I like big pillows. You know, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So in here is her bedroom. And of course, her being a little princess, she wanted it the biggest vanity ever. Look how big this mirror is. What's going on? I'm just, I'm just showing everybody your room. That's what I'm doing. How are you? Can we chat? I was just going to go exploring later. Okay, that's fine. Just don't go out too late and always go with one of the guards, okay? Um, so then she has her vanity here. She can sit down and brush her hair. And then she has her comfy bed. And she has all her stuff. And in her... She did have stuff... Yeah, just look at that. Just cute little skirts. And then she has her little crown there, of course. So this is her bedroom. It still looks a bit empty. Um, because, like I said, I need to bring stuff from the other house. Just to add little touches here and there. But this is basically her room. Next, I think we have um, Richard's room, and his is right here, and uh, hello there, um, he has his little couch here, he kind of seems to be more into his friends at the moment, so I wanted to put quite a big couch in there so that he could just take him in his room and they could just play video games or something like that, so um, he has all his little shields here, he has his crown, um, again, his room is quite plain, um, but I still like their bedrooms, um, but I let them know they could change it however they want. And then this is Ryan's room, and he's kind of very, he's changed a lot as well. Uh, he's very been very, like, into, like, I don't know, I don't want to say violence, but, like, military stuff. And so I got him a little outfit there so he could pretend to be a soldier or whatever he wants. He has his couch as well. Um, how are you doing? You're not doing too well, are you? Can we tell you a joke? I rather have a cake. Oh, I don't have any cakes for you. I do have some bread if you want some. Here, have this. Can I can I eat it? Yeah, go ahead. This is a really bad gift. Oh, is it a really bad gift? I thought it was a good one. I'm sorry. 
All right, so we have his bedroom here. Um, I think it's looking really nice so far. This is, of course, a little hallway. And I wanted to add some flower pots and stuff like that around because I feel like it looks a little bit empty so I was thinking about doing that and then having a pot on each side and then just putting something inside them like even if it's just a little tree like that I think that looks nice even just adds a little bit more to it because it looks quite plain otherwise so I'm going to do that around here and um I know they always say like, well, you're the queen, you get other people to do it. I don't want to. And it's because I kind of feel like I, I'm the only person that knows what I want. So we're just going to leave it like this for now. And then upstairs, what I was thinking about doing, and this is what I need to talk to Seth about and a, a few other people. I kind of, I don't know how the villagers are going to feel about it, but I wanted to turn this into more of a place for like the queen and stuff like that so i wanted to remove the school and put it somewhere else build a completely new school so it has its own building and i was thinking you know i was looking around and i'm not sure if there is room for it but i was thinking we can make some room over here if we we expand the animal farm a bit more maybe we can add a decent sized school right in this section over here and we would have the park so the kids could go right after school and go play over there and stuff we could have a few guards just in case and keep them safe and stuff but i think that might be a good idea to remove the school from the castle and then go ahead and um build a school out here i don't know but what i'm thinking is maybe like in let me let me mark out a section like this and i know i haven't really been mentioning taylor that much and uh, that's because I honestly don't know what to say. Um, he did he did kind of get really upset with me, and uh, I just don't know what to do. I see his point. I really do. I don't think it's right the way he talked to me, but I kind of do feel like you know, what if you were married to someone and you would automatically think, oh, you know, I'm gonna be the the person that's right beside them. I'm gonna be their right hand guy or girl or whatever. And I felt like I kind of betrayed him in that sense. So I was thinking, you know, maybe maybe I can make him like the leader of of all the guards or something to kind of make him feel important again. And uh, I went around to check on the um, on the weapons and stuff like that to see if we still had some, if we needed to get more supplies and all of that. And we kind of do. So I was thinking maybe maybe it's a good idea to kind of allow him to take over that role. Um, of just like, I don't know, a, a, just a chief or something. And then that way he just doesn't feel so upset. But I don't know if at this point things with us are at, at a point where there is kind of no going back. And he's just that upset with me. Um, like I said, I don't think it was right the way he talked to me. But I don't know. I can't help but feel bad. He, he has been there for me a lot. He was basically my first friend when I got to the village and stuff, besides Seth and Alyssa and stuff, like, that he's the person that I had, um, and I don't, I just, I don't know, it's a bit difficult with everything going on, and I don't know, I think it might just be good, because, you know, give him something to do, it'll make him feel important again, and then, but I just, I don't know, I don't know what he'll, what he's gonna say, he might just feel like I'm just trying to make things better, which I kind of am, I am trying to make things better, I just don't know, but let me go ahead. Oh, I didn't show you. Um, so I'm thinking about that section where there is no wheat to build a school there. And have a couple stories so we could have different levels to the school and stuff. I think I might go ahead and do that. And then that way, um, it leaves it more open upstairs. And we could ch change it to like a meeting room or something, like a board. Maybe more like a, a courthouse. Where I could stand at the front and then it's a place for all the villagers to come and give me their opinion on things, their concerns and stuff. So I think that's how I'm going to talk to them about it. Just a place where everybody can come and just talk. Where I'm not someone that feels unattainable but just because I'm a queen. So I'm going to keep this room basically the same. I just might add a wall here with doors just to keep the bedroom more private. I do want to put my ring and my necklace up though because they're quite sentimental and important thing so i'm going to put my ring here and then my necklace i'm going to go ahead and put it in willow's room since i give it to her anyway and then after this i'm going to go look for olivia really quick because um i wanted to ask her and echo what they thought about the school being changed since they're the teachers i think their opinions are the most important 
Um, I know I really don't like Olivia, but I kind of have to talk to her. So let me go ahead and go up there and see um, what she'll have to say about all of this. I think she's up there. She should be. And then I'm, I might go talk to Seth while I'm at it to just go see. What is, up. is she in here? Hmm. It's empty in here. I wonder where, oh, Echo's, I think Echo was out there. Everybody's still having a, it's, it's a little bit, it's like still party mode for everybody after I became a queen. All right, let's go ahead and go check. Why is Taylor in there? Is he in there with somebody? I could hear talking. <gasps> That's Olivia. Why, what are they talking about? What did she say? She could have made you king. I bet Seth had something to do with it. I don't trust him. What are they talking about? What does she mean by that? Should I keep listening? I feel bad. I'm not sure who is more foolish, her or Seth. I would make a great king. It's time for a man to rule. What? Is that really how he feels? I don't want to hear anymore. I hope they didn't see me. I don't... I feel like... That's not the Taylor that I know. For him to... Why are they trying to bring Seth into this? What does Seth have to do with any of this? He didn't do anything. He never told me who I should make king or anything like that. Any of these were fools? Why does he want to be king so bad? And what does this think about? It's time for a man to rule. Is he bitter because of Queen Bertha and, and now it's me? This... This just doesn't seem right. He's supposed to be someone that I trust. <sighs> I just feel like maybe, maybe this is this is why they tell you not to eavesdrop, because then you hear things that maybe you don't want to hear, or maybe I misheard. Maybe they're talking about something else. I just don't know anymore.